Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Shipbreaker and we're going to be picking up right where we left off at the end of last ship. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, repair because it took some damage. Uh, let's see, our cutter. Uh, we can we can we not can we not upgrade that? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. Laser cutter. There's no repair button. Why is there no repair button? Okay. Okay. Ah, gotta hover over it. Repair. Yes, please. Ah, oh, there we go. Go to our grapple and upgrade our grapple license. Have a tether module. Are you friends? Let's select your next ship and head out into the yard to try them out. Okay, let's go try out some tethers. Use the catalog. Uh, the. I mean, that's that's probably not terrible. you haven't noticed, there has been a slight right, adjustment sir. to the resolution. Oh, okay, so these nacelles come off a lot easier than they used to. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's chop one of these off. And... there we go. The place a tether. And stick it down there. Or not. Man, this UI is just ginormous. I may have to fix that. Yeah, it looks like that's uh, that's working a lot better than trying to manhandle it all the way down there. And you make it, you made it. Yes. Let's see. Probably over here. Well, it, no, that's not it. Is it not? Oh, okay. It looks like there's not much in the way of ways to hide the HUD. Okay, so we're stuck with it for at least a little bit. You can get pretty creative with how you use them. All right, now for the fun stuff. And when I say fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. Next. We're going to learn about pressurization. According to Link, decompression events are the number one cause of death. And as a result, cloning. Alright, let's open up your scanner and see what we see. Yeah, what do we see? Oh, this says airlock. Right there. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Let's see if we can crack into this ship without making her pop. See that airlock over there? Let's go check it out. Using airlocks is always a good idea, but there may be times later when you encounter ships without functioning airlocks. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, Cutter. For now, let's get inside. All right, let's see if there's a way to depressurize this sucker so we can get to work on it. Look for an atmosphere regulator. If it's working, this device will let us depressurize the room safely. Oh, nice. You don't want to trigger a violent decompression, believe me. There she is, the reactor. That's your meal ticket right there, Cutter. All right, this one's pretty easy. She should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. But before you do that, it's always a good idea to clear a path for her straight to the barge. Because 
because once you pull it, she starts melting down. And when it comes to reactors, you never know how many ticks you got till she goes boom. Hmm. I wonder if we can maybe chop out the bottom. Got that. That. There we go. I don't really care where that goes at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to go ahead and pull you out. And there we go. So you, I don't think, go in there. You go over to the processor. Can we tether you into the processor? I think that is a thing that we can do. Oh no. Go into the processor. There we go. So, I feel like there's a lot more stuff we could do in here. So, I think I'm going to do it. Let's see, what are, what are our work orders? Salvage nanocarbons. And we've already done a good bit already. Let's see. Let's pull out our... Yeah, there we go. You. You. I feel like my frames are low, but I don't have my frame counter out to know for sure. Oh, I didn't get all of it. But yeah, it's it, it's acting like my frames are low. I'm going to adjust the resolution again. Bear with me for just a moment. I guess it doesn't like 4K. There we go. That ought to work. Yes, we're going to save. Oh yeah, that that does seem to be better. Hmm. I wonder. Can we pull you through? I guess we can't. Oh, it pulled a bit off. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that works. Got a nice little sec section off there. Are you free? R. Okay. Uh, hmm. Got a bunch of panels that go to the processor. And I can't haul it. And I don't think I can cut it down any more than it already is. We're going to pull you over there. What do I do with you? Can I pull you off? And let's uh let's make this quick. Got half of the motor bit off. Let's get the other half of the motor bit off. Pull you out. Come on. Pull out. You're not pulling out. Okay. Pull you down there. Are there more bits that are holding it together? Yes. Okay. So we're just going to shove you in there because that's all we can do. How do I get rid of a tether? Oh no, don't go into the thing. Don't go into the thing. It, it, it sounds like that would hurt. It sounds like that would hurt a lot. Whew. Why did you go down there?
Where's something you can attach to? There we go. We'll pull you out so we don't, like, totally lose you. Hmm. I know there are more panels we can get off of this. Oh, well, there's an inner and outer panel. Oh, what? Okay. Well, it looks like we've got a job for the, uh... There we go. We're gonna go ahead and pull this whole side off. And my cutter temp is a little high. I think we got through both? We did. Okay, cool. Gotta wait for that temp to go down, and we can get the other ones. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for it to cool down all the way so we can get all of it. I think that got it. Yeah, there we go. We've got almost this whole wall off. I think we can get a few in a row. Okay, okay. Okay, the lights go to the barge, which means I can grab you. Come on. Come right on out. And boom. So I, I have found that if I right click, I can pull it toward me. Which makes things so, so much easier. What are my work orders? Uh, salvage nanocarbon. That's all I've got at the moment. So this goes to the processor. We can go ahead and think into there. You, I think, can also maybe go into there. And that first one looks like it's well on its way. We're also going to send you into the processor. Looks like you can manage on your own for a bit, which is good, because I just got assigned another worm on a salvage station on the other side of Earth Village. Just a reminder that your training amounts for O2 tethers and fuel will be reset once you start your next shift. Oh. I was back to check in on you from time to time, but until then, remember this. Measure twice, cut once, and tethers are your friend. Yep. Good luck out there, Cutter. We were out. That's got to be worth a good bit. Uh, enter the hab. Okay, so we're done cutting from this ship, I think. I think we probably made a good bit, and we're a little bit low on tethers, but that's that's entirely okay. Oh man, it's so slow. Wish there was a boost. I know, I know. If you go too fast in space, it becomes very difficult to stop, which is probably their narrative reason for doing so. Photo complete! We are now rank 4. And I don't know what I just went past, but I just went past something. We got a million credits so far. Oh, we really didn't. We only got 500,000. Uh, no resurrection fees, which are good. Interest was a lot. Bay lease, a lot. Cutter rental, grapple rental, lots of stuff that cost a lot of things. Let's see if there's anything that we can upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade speed and fuel capacity. The, is there any upgrades for the helmet? Uh, O2 capacity. That's nice. Cutter. What else do we have? Range. Uh, split saw license. Got to be rank 5 for that? Okay, yeah, there's not a whole bunch we can do. Heat capacity would be not bad. Cooldown would be not bad. Grapple, what else do we have that we can unlock? There's seems to be a, a good bit. Uh, grapple range? Yeah, sure, why not? 
Oh, and that just priced us out of uh, a couple other things. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Tether amount. Can we can we not get that? We we cannot get that. Oh, we've got LTs. Is our is our costs? Okay. So I think it's time to start a new shift. But we're also low on time, so that may be yeah, it may be time to call it an episode. Um, let me know if you like this, if you want to see more of this. I'm definitely going to go record some more of this and see if anybody likes it. If you like it, you'll see more show up on the channel. If you don't, then maybe I'll just keep it to myself. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com, and I will see you guys in the next one.